everybody, so it's kind of surreal saying this, but today we're actually talking about Avatar The Way of Water. It's nothing new to say we've been waiting a very long time for the sequel to Avatar. It's been 13 years in the making. The first film came out back when I was just starting out in high school. It's been a very long time waiting for the sequel. You can't rush perfection, though. James Cameron has been crafting out the sequel for a very long time, and I had a feeling he was going to deliver returning us to the world of Pandora whenever the timing was right. The long-awaited sequel follows Jake Sully once again living with his newfound family on the planet of Pandora, but once a familiar threat returns to finish what was previously started, Jake must work with Natiri and the army of the Navi race to protect their planet. When it comes to the original Avatar, I always enjoyed the film for what it was. It's not my favorite James Cameron film by any means because he has such an eclectic filmography, but I do think it sets up a very interesting, gorgeous world that I did want to see expanded upon further, not realizing we weren't going to get any sort of expansion for 13 years. And as we know from James Cameron's track record, Terminator 2, Aliens, he does have a way with making some pretty phenomenal sequels. And honestly, I think I would add Avatar The Way of Water to that category. I was completely blown away what he was able to accomplish with this film. Much like how the original Avatar back in 2009 pushed the boundaries for what was capable with visual effects work, The Way of Water is once again a real technical achievement and the new golden standard for VFX in my opinion. I was just in sheer awe returning back to the world of Pandora after all the years and getting to see all of these characters explore so much more of this stunning world than we ever were able to see in the original film and I do think that added so much more depth to the world building and the spectacle traversing brand new areas we weren't able to see in the first film. It's honestly equal parts astounding and scary at the exact same time just how outstanding the VFX work is here. I think this is a shoe in for the visual effects when it comes to the award season. The water work I think is my favorite part when it comes to the CGI element. Anything involving the water I was completely blown away by. I think this is some of the best water I've ever seen ever put to screen which I know is kind of ridiculous talking at length about how great the water looks in the film but I mean it's a very important part of the film. Generally I'm not the hugest fan of the 3D format. It hurts my eyes and I wear glasses so it's just kind of a frustrating experience but I do think that James Cameron does a great job utilizing it once again with this film and it does really enhance the experience. There are some action sequences that I think are much more mind-blowing with the 3D element incorporated in there that really enhanced the experience so if you are going to spend some more money to watch this film in theaters definitely IMAX I think that will raise your experience even further but if you want to spring for 3D as well I think it is worth the upcharge. Like in any great sequel The Way of Water dives so much deeper into the story and our characters with much improved storytelling. That was one of the elements that I found to be kind of weak in the first film was the storytelling aspects but it is a much more improved element here because I found myself caring so much more about everything this time around. Possibly due to the way that James Cameron spends about the first two hours of the film getting you a lot more invested, developing these characters, new and old characters, and building up an emotional core for the story and the conflicts that arise. I mean, sure, the conflicts are very similar to the conflicts in the first film, but this time around I do care a whole lot more about these characters. Since the stakes here are so much bigger and I don't want any of these characters to die in the process of this battle. There are a plethora of new characters, new and old. The ones we are most familiar with are the stars from the first film, Jake Sully and Natiri, who are still able to be quite compelling here, balancing their family life while also still dealing with the war that's raging on. That, in my opinion, adds a strong emotional core to The Way of Water and how we explore the power of family and community and spirituality in such a beautifully intimate way, which is not something that you see a lot in these big blockbuster spectacles. Among the new crop of characters in The Way of Water, my two personal favorites were Loak, the biological child of Jake and Natiri, and Kiri, played by Sigourney Weaver in a new role as the adopted child of Jake and Natiri. Both of them were real standouts here, in my opinion. Each of them had some really great, interesting material. Loak, in particular, and this bond he has with this whale-like creature. It was really beautiful in the film, but it really makes me excited to just see where the future of the franchise goes, because it seems like we're going to continue to see them build out more and more as we get more and more of these Avatar sequels, because we got a lot of them on the way, I'm assuming. Plus, just because I have to touch upon him a little bit, Stephen Lang, one once again returns in the way of water and he once again is pretty awesome as one of the more fun parts to the avatar the way of water much like he was in the first film I still remember when they announced that the runtime for The Way of Water was going to be 3 hours and 12 minutes long. People were up in arms, angry or irritated that why is this film so long? And I do think that the runtime, for the most part, it still kept me engaged. There are some moments that did kind of drag in the middle of the film, but otherwise, I was entertained all 3 plus hours of The Way of 
of water. We haven't been in this world in over 13 plus years, so James Cameron is attempting to do a lot here with this second installment and still continuously building up this world and raising the stakes that by the time that the third act of this film begins, I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. That being said though, it is a whole lot of movie. There's definitely going to be some things you're not going to catch on your first viewing. I don't know how many times you're going to watch this in theater just because of that runtime, but there are some details I do want to go back and revisit with this. And I am very excited for future installments. You know, you got three, Avatar 3, Avatar 4, Avatar 5, potentially. I think James Cameron was even talking about six recently during the press tour. We'll see when all of those do come out. I mean, there's this film has to make a ton of money, apparently, to break even, which is kind of scary to think about. But I believe in James Cameron. James Cameron did a great job with this installment. And all around, I think Avatar The Way of Water is another phenomenal sequel from him. You truly do feel how much he poured his heart and soul into this film and crafted an epic, beautiful story with a hard-hitting environmental message and some of the most amazing spectacle I've seen on the big screen. Honestly, if you have the money to splurge on IMAX and even 3D, this is the film that warrants it. If you're going to go out and see one final movie in theaters in a premium format for the rest of 2022, this is the one to do it for. And hopefully since they filmed all of Avatar 3 with this film, we don't got to wait super duper long for Avatar 3. I'm very excited to talk about the film more in depth with you guys in the comments section once you get a chance to check out the film. And when you do, make sure you share your thoughts down below. What do you think of Avatar The Way of Water? Did you like the film? Do you not like the film? After waiting 13 years for this, did you feel it lived up to the hype? Or did it not live up to the hype? Or do you even want more Avatar after this? Because it seems like we're going to set up a whole lot more films after this. And maybe people don't want that. That's what we'll see. But either way, make sure you share your thoughts down below. Thank you guys. Always share the reviews. I always do appreciate it. Make sure like on a video and also subscribe to the channel. Some of the reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Next time, I'll see you guys later.